Welcome back. You know, Spectrum Health Hyperbaric, or Baric, I'm gonna say it right, and Dive Medicine is expanding the arrival of uh, the uh, new multi-place hyperbaric chamber. Now this chamber replaces the current monoplace chambers and is going to more than double patient access to hyperbaric treatments. It's a great need. A Spectrum Health is the only 24-7 program in the state of Michigan. You want to discuss this, learn more about it, the new hyperbaric chamber and everything else? Dr. Drew Orwig is here. She's a fellowship trained hyperbaric physician who brings a wealth of knowledge to expand diagnosis and treatment of patients who may benefit from this new chamber. Welcome, doctor. How are you? Hi, good morning. You're going to have to break this down for me because we were just talking off the air about who would use a hyperbaric chamber. Yeah, right? For right. those who don't know what these do, can you explain? Yeah. So hyperbaric is really just oxygen under pressure. Okay. Um, in that environment, you can get a much higher level of oxygen that you than you can typically get in like a regular room. Um, so what this does is obviously oxygenate the body, um, helps to stimulate wound healing, new blood vessel growth, um, helps to fight off certain types of infections. So typically our day-to-day -day patients um, mostly are um, diabetics, diabetic with foot ulcers or infections. Um, we treat a lot of patients that have radiation injuries. So those that, you know, say they had cancer, they had to get chemo and radiation. Some patients down the road can get problems from the radiation, um, you know, on their healthy tissues and hyperbaric helps to reverse those effects. So we use it kind of day to day for that, mostly that kind of stuff. We okay. do a lot of um, bone infection treatments, um, but we also offer emergent treatments, as you mentioned. We're the only place in the whole state that does all the emergent uh, hyperbaric uh, patients. And that um, pretty much is carbon monoxide poisoning for the, the bulk of it. Um, and then we also treat some types of like rapidly spreading infections. There's actually a stroke of the eye that helps, that hyperbaric helps um, huh. oxygenate the back of the eye um, during the stroke. Um, and there's some certain, certain types of sudden hearing loss that is um, beneficial. And then obviously the, the original reason that hyperbaric came to be was diving. diving so right. yeah, so for diving emergencies too. Was it for the bends? Is that what, yeah. what, mm -hmm. is that what it was? Was yeah. it coming up too quickly? Yeah. Is that what that was? Yeah. I was trying to remember uh -huh. when I first was hearing about hyperbaric exactly. chambers. Now, this we, we have one, it's a mono space it's a, for one person. Yeah. But now we have something that more than one patient at a time can do this? Right. Yeah, so that's, um, yeah, so this is going to be the only center like this in West Michigan. The nice thing about it is patients, the, the previous chambers, you have to lay down mm -hmm. by yourself. So sometimes there's claustrophobia, it can kind of be sure. uncomfortable. Yeah. Um, this new chamber, people can sit up. They're in a big room, um, so that really helps to eliminate the claustrophobia portion. Um, and sometimes, kind of not infrequently, we'll get uh, a lot of patients at once that have carbon monoxide poisoning, like a whole family sure. or an, apart an apartment complex or right, something. Right. And so we can treat all those patients at once, where before we were having to either, you know, um, divide them up between centers, which the next closest center is Toledo. Um, so it, it was a pretty big ordeal. So. Now we're able to treat them all at once. And when you say treat them all at once, is this something where you said sitting in a room? Is it? Uh -huh. I'm it's, a, it's a room. It's a big I'm, room. So it's basically like there's a lobby room that you can just sit on a couch and, and, and get treated? Yeah, I mean, there's individual chairs. It's kind of okay. like a long rectangular room, but yeah. It's, it's fascinating to me. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And so this actually forces oxygen into the body? Well, yeah, you kind of like when you go on an airplane and there's those pressure changes, sure. it's kind of like that. And so when you change the pressure, you breathe in higher level of oxygen. And you mentioned something about being the only 24-7 emergency uh -huh. place. Now, will this apply to that? Yep. As mm -hmm. well, yep. okay. So will, will you wake up your carbon monoxide alarms going off yeah. or something like that? This is what it would be used yep. for. Yeah, exactly. Um, I mean, we treat for other emergent indications, like I mentioned. Um, we'll treat. We can treat critical care patients um, in these chambers, which is, you know, really nice because before those single place chambers, you couldn't access the patient. I mean, you could still do a critical care patient, but it, it was a little bit more complicated. And now somebody, a nurse or a, you know, a critical care nurse can go in with the patient and take care of them right there at the bedside. So it's, it's much nicer for wow, them. Wow. Yeah. yeah. The, the, that bedside manner. Yeah. It, exactly. It, it is back. Yeah. Right. So what about you? you you mentioned it originally started with dieting. Yeah. Do you still deal with that around this yeah, area? Yeah, luckily it's a lot less common <clears throat> um, with the, the, the newer sophistication of the, the dive computers. It's it's less common. But we do get actually a lot of divers, mostly up in the, you know, like Lake Superior and stuff, those technical divers that uh, do deep diving. Yeah. Yeah, we will yeah. get those patients. Okay, so the entire family can go if, yeah. if, if needed <laughs> if now. Yeah, if you're interested, I yeah. mean, I don't think you want to go, but, <laughs> right. I mean, but now you have that. That's a real yeah. benefit for yeah. potential patients to, exactly. have, to have in the area, mm -hmm. to be able to do that. So what about the, the 
the people who are like, I, I, I don't know, what, like, does insurance cover hyperbaric? Is this considered a, a, a typical medical treatment that they get? That they, I mean, how does it work? Or how often is it being used? Um, well, we we have patients that treat every day. Every day. Yeah. Uh -huh. How many treatments does it take for this to work? Is this a one and done type of thing? It just depends on the indication. So okay. carbon monoxide poisoning might be just one up to three, um, but sometimes um, bad, complicated wounds. I mean, it might be a month, maybe more, okay. um, in conjunction with other treatments that we're doing. So. It can be a long process. Yeah. All right. Well, we just love uh, beating our chest, saying we got something that uh, that most others don't have. Yeah. We have this multi-space hyperbaric treatment now. Up right. to how many people again? Twelve. Up to twelve people mm -hmm. at the same time. Right. That's amazing. Yeah. Thank you, doctor, for the yeah, information. You want to learn. This is an expanding program. You want to learn if you qualify, maybe as a candidate. You can visit spectrumhealth.org for that, and just search for hyperbaric and dive medicine for more. We'll be right back.